We're going to do some graphing transformations here where we actually have to graph the function. Now on this, we have a square root function. The other function, the parabola is here. The absolute value is over here on the right. Uh, here's the line that's already highlighted. We're not going to use that. Uh, and if you do use the absolute value, make sure you can't just use two lines. You have to use the absolute value. This one's a square root, which is the function right here, third option. This one has a point at zero, zero. So I'm going to click once there. You could go to 1, 1. That would be reasonable. Uh, and if you look, there are a lot of small changes that could affect your answer. You want to center this as well as you can. I have increased my zoom to 210% right here. I could also plot the point for 2 if I want to, but I'm going to stick to 1, 1 here. Keep an eye on 4, 2 because it needs to go right through that point. And this right here, if I use that point, it looks like it's a little bit low here. So I'm going to move this. Now, of course, my cursor is too big to see exactly where that point is going. But this looks centered, and it's pretty close to there. All right, next up, negative 2 times x. So it's a horizontal stretch. This one is a negative one-half stretch. Remember, horizontal, the opposite of what it looks like. So same function. The x-coordinate that was at 0 stays there. The x-coordinate that was at positive 1 is going to jump to negative 2 now. And feel free to increase the zoom even more on this. Now we have lost part of that. I'm going to scroll over. There we go. So there's square root, here we are. This is the graph we want right at the origin. And then remember, not just going negative one, but negative two in the x. Now, unfortunately, the other point that I could check is negative eight, positive two, which is not on this graph. So I just have to be really careful where this is. I'm trying my best to make the red point appear right at the cross section of these two lines right here. So let's go right there. Okay. Next up, this plus two looks like a shift right two. Remember, horizontals are the opposite. It's a shift left two. So this x coordinate of zero is going to become negative two. This x coordinate of negative two is going to become negative four. So our first point is here at negative two, zero. And then we're at negative four, one. There we go. All right, next up, we have a multiply by two. Now this is outside the function, so it's a vertical, it's a multiplication, so it's a vertical stretch. And it's gonna take the y coordinates that were zero and one and double them, so they're gonna become zero. Zero times two is zero. And this one is one times two, which is gonna jump up to two. So click on the right uh, square root base graph, negative two, zero right here negative four, positive two, right there, okay. All right, last, the plus one is happening outside the square root, so it's vertical and it's a shift up one. So we're gonna take these two points, move them up one, so this y coordinate will become positive one, this y coordinate will become positive three. So the x-coordinate was negative 2, y-coordinate positive 1. And just re-click on that. Negative 2, positive 1. Right there. Now I think the other one was negative 4. Negative 4, positive 3. Negative 4, positive 3. And do your best to center that, that red point there. Okay, so we have all of our graphs done. We can answer this first part, which is the, I believe it's the domain first and the range second. Yeah, domain first, range second. All right, domain. Now, negative two is the largest x value, but it goes everything smaller than negative two. So this is gonna be negative infinity, comma, negative two, close at negative two. 
All right, range is the y value, so it's everything one. One is the smallest y value and up, so it's positive one to infinity. And we're including positive one because that point is on the graph, just like we're including negative two because this negative two x value is on the graph. All right, now we're gonna hit submit. All right, so where do we go wrong? All right, I see where I made a mistake. I think I said the right thing, and it first started here. I said the right thing, but didn't do the right thing. So this graph right here, I stretched negative two, and I should have stretched negative one half. So let's go ahead and clear. And we're gonna go zero. And instead of go over to negative two, uh, this point that was at negative one, one, now I could use negative one half, but it's gonna be a little tricky. Let's think of the other point I could use. The other point was would be negative four, two, before the stretch. This came from the positive four, two. Now when I stretch negative one half, that negative four x value becomes a negative two x value. So once we know this graph, now we can follow through and correct all the ones down below. So let's get the correct answers out of here, which I know that you can't do as a student. Okay, so we got that one. Now I'm gonna shift right two. Let's go ahead and just clear. So shift left two, wow. So negative two is gonna go over to negative four, zero is gonna go to negative two. So there's our initial point, negative two, zero, and negative four, positive two. There we go. All right, next up we're gonna clear, and we have a two vertical stretch. So our, X, our Y coordinate of positive two is gonna become positive four. So we still have that negative two zero because that y coordinate of zero doesn't change, but the y coordinate that was at positive two is gonna jump up to positive four right there. Okay, last up, shift up one, we'll clear, get the right graph tool out. So we're taking this and shifting these y values up one. So it's gonna be the point negative two, positive one, negative four, positive five. So we got negative two, one, negative four, five, right there. Okay, now we're gonna hit submit. All right, I think we got everything green this time around. Yes. Okay, so how accurate do you need to be? Let's make a mistake here intentionally. So I'm gonna use the my best attempt to get negative two, one in here. And then instead of negative four, five, I'm gonna to try to do like negative, a little less than negative four and a little less than positive five. So I'm gonna go right there. It's close. I mean, the corner of the red point is touching the correct point, but it's not exactly accurate. I'm gonna hit submit. That should be the third to last part. That's the last part, second to last, third to last part. So it looks like it gave us full points, yeah. So there is a little tolerance on the graphing, uh, but there's not that much. And obviously if you make the mistake I did where I did the the wrong transformation, it, your, your graph will be far enough that you will not be getting uh, points for that. And of course, a mistake can cascade down like I did. I got this part wrong, part two, and that made all my other parts wrong. Uh, luckily, I got the last two parts right, uh, these intervals here.